They don't just sprint, they throw well, they <laughs> jump well. What on earth is going on with Italian athletics at the moment? They are on fire. Well, Kazabov got out well, so did Escaloni. Stefanov got left a little bit in the blocks, and now it's Escaloni starting to race. On the inside in lane seven, it's Dominga running well, but it's Escalone rising to the occasion after that lackluster semi-final. 13.36 for the Italian, following in the footsteps of Lorenzo Simonelli, who took gold in Rome at the European Senior Championships just a few weeks ago. Brilliant race that from Escalona, the Italian. I think he did under dip at the finish, a bit like Colin Jackson. Well, Donoghue was beginning to close. He ran really well, although he clattered that last barrier. I think that's exactly why the time initially came up as in the 1330s. 13.22, that's only three hundredths away from the championship best by Sam Bennett back in 2018. What is going on with Italian high hurdling at the moment? Absolutely phenomenal. Well, it wasn't that big a dip, but we'll take it as 13.22, and I'm sure so will he. What a marvellous run there from Kayan Daniel Duffy Escalona. The crowd beginning to respond. Serena De Fabio. Now there is a judge walking back with a paddle, but she hasn't waved it at De Fabio. A brilliant title. The best time in Europe this year and a championship record. Well inside 22 minutes. Serena De Fabio was fabulous in Slovakia. And Alicia Pop. A massive PB for her, just a shade outside 22 minutes. Both of them with massive, massive lifetime bests there. Sensational walking from the Italian and the Romanian. What a set of results. De Fabio from Pop and Eremic inside 47 seconds. What a sense of anticipation here in Slovakia. It's been a brilliant bend by Castellani, and it's Italy one and two. Castellani has stalled that first 100 meters, and she's putting her compatriot under pressure. Now Valencia needs to pull away. This is a brilliant run. Watch the clock, 23.09. There comes the roar of a champion. And she was made to work so, so hard for that by Castellani, her compatriot who blasted round that first bend. Valencin has shown incredible character here because the quality of that bend by Margarita Castellani, two on her inside, was phenomenal. She was clearly ahead, and this will be the first time in a long time that Valencin has felt pressure from another woman in her own age group. She could have faltered, she could have folded, she didn't. And with this victory of 23.09, she moves up to sixth on the all-time European list for this age group. An outstanding run from a woman whose glittering career lies in the future. She has delivered the first of what she hopes will be many, many golds on the big stage. But all credit to Castellani. She turned that into a truly, truly intriguing race. Brilliant performance and a brilliant time. 23.35 for the silver and 23.50 for the bronze from Richter. Three magnificent medalists delivering in style. Bia has taken gold for Italy with a national under-18 record. 76.04 in the first round, and that was good enough. The Italian now takes his sixth and final throw purely for fun. The gold is already going back to Italy in his hand luggage. Pietro Villa, at the end of a night he will never forget. No improvement, doesn't matter. He is the European under-18 champion. And what a lovely moment to share with 
Alex Perella, the Italian teammate who also made the final. He's hugely popular with his teammates. They don't just sprint, they throw well. They <laughs> jump well with Tamberi. What on earth is going on with Italian athletics at the moment? They are on fire. Confirmation, Pietro Villa takes the gold for Italy. Krukowska the favourite, Silva and Simone. <laughs> Well, Nappi having a great start, he's already up on the shoulder of Burke. Capri Russo, the other Italian on the inside, and Ben Bender, they're the man challenging Nappi at the moment. Nappi's not having this race his own way. Ben Vander doing extremely well at the moment. Capri Russo battling for the medals. Now Nappi starting to pull away. 20-82. Good heavens. That's another championship record for Diego Nappi, revised to 2081. Well, he turned on the afterburners 50 meters from the line, shrugged off Ben Vander and Capi Russo. Capi Russo drifted back just a little bit because it was Joe Burke who came through for that wonderful bronze for Ireland. All of these men have delivered a wonderful final. Even last place is 21.59. That was the highest quality 200 meters we've ever seen from this age group in a European final. It was absolutely brilliant. And Nappi really had to dig deep. At this point, the gold was not in his pocket. Not at all. Ben Vander, an outstanding run from the Swede. He was pressing all the way, right up until about 160, 170 meters, but then Nappi just strode away from his rivals. Nappi Russo, a terrific bend, a terrific first 130 meters, just starts to tie up, and then Nappi, I wonder if he knew what was going on around him. He didn't look up, he's been watching what's been going on in the other parts of the race on the big screen in front of him at the near end of the stadium in previous races not this time he didn't have that luxury 2081 to diego nappi championship best for diego nappi just two hundredths shy of his personal best which he set earlier this month when winning the italian under eight capollo just under 100 meters to go now it's going to be difficult for anybody to stop him. It's not going to happen. Clark has run a what a magnificent race, but Capolo coming through. He's going to become the very first European under 18 5,000 meter race walk champion. Gold goes to Italy in the absolutely magnificent time of 21.01.45. Just a few seconds behind, a hugely deserved Confirmation of the time though for Capollo. Now draped with the Italian flag. Seamus Clark walks five kilometers faster than he's ever done in his life. Confirmation of the results. Italy, thanks to Alessio Coppolo, take gold. It's gonna be all square at the changeover between Poland and Italy. Switzerland also into the bargain as well. Well, Anastasia Kuss blocked at the moment. It's Switzerland and Italy at the front. Balancing the 200 meter runner, but she's also a very fine 400 meter runner. She's got a personal best around 52 seconds. Italy, Switzerland. Da Costa coming up well, but just look at Anastasia Kuss. She's biding her time, and now she's hit the accelerator with 200 meters to go. Kuss is going through the gear she's going from first to fourth so quickly she's battling with Valencin. Valencin's not giving any way at all but Kuss having moved out to the third lane Kuss is flying Valencin though battling her and Kuss has found another gear to come back and Kuss brings the Italians home for their seventh gold medal of these championships Valencin can't believe it neither can Anastasia Kuss she looks shocked Italy, 2.05.23, it's a European under-18 best. Never before has an under-18 medley relay quartet run as fast as this.